Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, uh, um, before, before we, 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 we wrap up, um, Imano Jepanda, the, the, the mm -hmm. situation keeps on dragging. Um, today, he's been discharged from Menasoko and he's been taken to um, uh, Skanze camp, where he's been held in a maternity ward. From whatever has been transpiring, what is your say over the issue of Imano Banda? Justice without compassion is barbarism. Emmanuel has been treated in a very barbaric way. I'm not here to judge what Emmanuel has done or has not done. But he has not been treated like a human being. And he has not been treated in accordance with our laws. He has his enemies clearly in the UPND government who are using the police and all the systems of our criminal justice to punish him. They are actually on the verge of getting him dying. We can lose Emmanuel. He has been pushed as a, to, to almost the limit as a human being. Even those who have committed the worst crimes are never treated that way. Even those who are on treason, they are never treated that way. Emmanuel has been subjected to excessive cruelty. This is not the rule of law that we were promised. Even some of the cases being brought against him, I'm a bit familiar with them because some of them happened when I was still a journalist at the post. We covered them. And some of them involved the people who were working for the post. Those matters were adjudicated upon. And judgments were passed. Eight years, nine years later, some people come and wanted to try JJ for the same things. Where is res judicata? Which says once a matter has been adjudicated upon, the courts have decided you only have one way to deal with it if you are not satisfied to appeal. They never appealed for eight years. They never appealed for eight years. Those who are involved with the matter. JJ saved the judgment that was given to him and it was, it was fined. Some of his collaborators who had much more deeper problems went to jail three years or four years. What more do you want from a human being? But the same way when you have buried someone, they have died. You they don't come back, you don't go and start exhuming bodies. They will just have to wait for that day of resurrection when our Lord comes back to take them. 
So you can see that it's not justice that is being pursued in the case of JJ. It's vindictiveness, it's vengeance. Yes, I didn't like what JJ did. But he cannot be punished forever. He cannot be punished forever. He was punished, it ended. Whether we were satisfied or not satisfied with his case, that's it. The courts decided. You can't go back to start arresting him for the same case and re prosecuting him again. Prosecuting him again. It's inhuman. The judgments are there. They were published in the media. They were not secret judgments. It's the same thing with the eligibility of President Edgar Lungo. We did not like that judgment. I was, I felt it was a bad judgment. I did not agree with that judgment. To this day, I don't agree with it. But it's a judgment of an apex court. It's a judgment of the constitutional court. There's no court above it where you can appeal. We have to live with that judgment. We have to respect that judgment. It's not only judgments we agree with that we should respect. I emphasize that I don't agree with that judgment. But we have to live with that. That's what the courts are there for. We will not agree with all the judgments of the courts. But we are required to respect the judgments that come from those courts if they are final. And the judgments from the Supreme Court, from the Constitutional Court, are final. Do these courts make mistakes? Yes, they do. There are processes to review those mistakes. But it's not the processes of backdoor appeals. It's not an appeal. It's an abuse of the system. They think they have got judges now on, this, on the constitutional court that can back them and get a judgment that they want. If the constitutional court does that, they will be creating a series of problems for our country. Let them stick to the principles of law. Again, it's a case of race judicata. Whether you like Mr. Lungu or you don't like him, he is eligible. The constitutional court decided so. Give him his judgment. If you wanted to defeat him, simply organize it in a better way. Deliver to our people the things you promised them. You would deliver. Give them a better life. They will vote for you and not for Mr. Lungu. I will be a participant in the 2026 elections. If God gives, keeps me to that day. I will be a participant. I may have to face Mr. Lungu in, on the ballot paper. We may be together as presidential candidates. Do I want to defeat him? Yes, I want to defeat Mr. Lungu. Do I want to defeat Mr. Ichilema? Yes, I want to defeat them, but I have no right to kill them, legally or otherwise. I have no right to annihilate their participation. That's what multi-party political dispensation entails. Competition. It's not a competition to destroy each other, to kill each other, to annihilate each other, to destroy competition. No, it's competition to save. Let our people choose who they want to lead them. Choose who they trust the most. The most trusted of us should lead. It is not just one person. It can't be just one person, you know. No matter what the merits uh, one person may have. In a multi-party political dispensation, they cannot be the only ones allowed to be on the ballot paper. All of us have the right to get our names on it. Let Mr. Lungu enjoy his judgment. He got his judgment. You can't take it away from him. He's eligible. It's only Mr. Lungu who can decide whether to stand or not to stand, and nobody else.
They have taken away the part from him, which was supposed to be his platform, the PF. We all know that is Mr. Kainde who took that part away, who stole that part away. The, UP, the PF today is not under the control of my brother, my nephew, Miles Samba. It's under the control of Mr. Hitchlema using the register of societies. Mr. Hitchlema today, if he wants, he can remove Miles Samba and replace him with another person by simply playing games with the, the register. Again, the intention was to rob Mr. Lungu of a platform, a political platform, to contest the 2026 elections. Why, if they feel they are more popular, why not just let him stand and defeat him? This reminds me of uh, a friend of mine who was working for Reuters as a journalist, Butch. Butch was very close to Buchiza, was very close to Mr. Chiluba. And he was also at the same time close to Dr. Kaunda through family connections as well. He asked Mr. Chiluba when he was trying to change the constitution in 1996, which he indeed changed to bar Dr. Kaunda from contesting elections in 1996. Butch says, why do you want to go through all this? Why don't you just let him stand and defeat him? Mr. Chiluba says, what about if he wins? I hope that's not the same situation, but it looks very much like it. We should not fear to be defeated in an election. It's not a do or die situation, you know. Even when you lose an election, you still live. Mr. Lung lost an election as he died. He's still there. Dr. Kaunda lost an election. He lived up to 90 something. He didn't die. It's not do or die. We were defeated badly in the 2021 elections. I'm still there. I've not lost my humanity. I've not lost my life unless they kill me. So let others participate. It's not for Mr. Hitchinema to decide who should be on the ballot paper and who should not be. This has been decided by the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia, which gives us all the opportunities. Unless the law disqualifies us because we have done A, B, C, D, or we have not done A, B, C, D, we do not meet the requirements of contesting elections. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.